Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about some more ideas for music at home. So today we're going to look at making some instruments, thinking about recycling, particularly single-use plastics that we've got in, in the house, and exploring how different sounds are made. shakers because when we're all children the very first instruments that we experience is the baby's rattle that we give them so we could look at things that can be held in the palm of the hand for the children to shake or maybe even something that's got a handle so I've got lots and lots of things here um, you might if any of your children like the kinder eggs when they're finished it's just an empty plastic thing with the take the insides out uh, container and then you can put in food things maybe like some rice lentils children might want to hold them in both hands if they want something bigger to hold we've got empty plastic tubes these have got some plastic beads in Obviously, whatever you do, you might want to consider how you attach the top so the children can't take the things out to put in the mouth. Plastic bottle just full of uh, pasta there. This one used to be a laundry box. Laundry liquid bottle. Again, inside pasta. Um, if you've got something small, you could even put a handle on it, just maybe a couple of plastic spoons, either side, tied round, them to hold. Next, let's move on to tappers. There are tappers that we can play with our hands. There are tappers that you can play with a stick. And there are tappers that you might just tap two things together. So when we're exploring around the house, finding some things plastic, if you want something like a drum, if you've got a really big bottle, they make a great sound. You can hit it in different places. Get different sounds from it. You might have an empty Haribo tub. So try exper experimenting what it sounds like with tapping either end or even tapping it hollow because some drums have got what we call a head on top and bottom this is the head but some of them have got them at one end and it's open at the other end so you can try experimenting with that uh, might even have some old paint pots around but make sure everything is cleaned out properly so it's safe for the children obviously um, things to tap together maybe Cut off it's a drain pipe. Or you can even hit them onto something else. Coming back to the spoons that we had earlier. Explore making different sounds with different parts of them. Obviously, if you've got any plastic spoons, might have plastic forks, plastic knives. Now let's look at some scrapers. There are things that we can scrape with our hands. Or that we can hold and scrape with a stick. I'm 
children love to touch the scrapers because whichever one you've got, they've got bumps. That as you go over the bumps and the ridges, that's what makes the sound. So anything you can find, like a plastic bottle, this has already had the end cut off for a different recycling project. If they've got little bumps and grooves, make a really quiet sound with your fingers, fingernails, back to the cutlery. Get lots of different sounds there. Uh, this is the inside of a drinks uh, bottle where you can put your fruit in and it's got some little holes there which are nice and bumpy. Um, I'm not even sure what this is but it's got little tiny bumps there and as you push it in it sprays against the other sound and I think this is a big uh, electrical tube pipe so depending on uh, what jobs we've all got out there big plastic knitting needle The bigger the item, the more resonance. So if you've got children that like to feel the vibrations, you can really feel that underneath. Let's look at instruments with strings that we make the sound by plucking the strings either with our thumb or our fingers, just like the guitar and the violin. So, both instruments are a similar shape, and this bit here we call the body, and it's hollow, and that's what helps make the sounds. So, all you need is some sort of plastic box that's hollow, and I've stretched some elastic bands across them here that you can pluck. Doesn't matter what size the box is. Can experiment different sizes, different thickness rubber bands and also on a string instrument if you shorten the string you can change the sound and I've had a go and it is just about possible so the shorter that you make it the higher the sound. So you can have a go exploring with your fingers on plucking sounds there. Finally, let's explore some instruments that make their sounds by blowing. So these are actually quite hard for the children to make because it involves lots of different movements with the tongue and the mouth. The simplest one is just a plastic cone and some, this is baking paper, greaseproof paper. And if you hum, I found if you try it the one way with the paper close to you, not quite as good. If you put the comb close to you, it vibrates more. So what are they doing? The air is causing a vibration. Um, you might be able to blow across the top of a bottle. I'm not very good at this one. Other people are better, better than me at that. If you put different amounts of water, different amounts of fluid in the bottle, it will give you a different sound. So... Um, have fun experimenting with that one. Uh, even maybe if you've got some big straws that you could cut off at different lengths um, to make a, your own pan pipes, might be an idea. I hope you found this video useful and that you enjoy exploring with your children. So you can explore the science of how different sounds are made. You can explore the sensory aspect of all the different plastic materials in the different shapes and sizes. You can explore physical activities, so holding something in the hand to shake, 
actually holding a beater to tap something else moving from side to side across the body or just as a recycling activity so choose one piece of plastic and see how many different sounds you can make so the important thing is have fun and i'm going to leave you with my final exploration